Yes, thanks, James. Um, well, we have been sitting and waiting and waiting and sitting and watching and sitting. And it has been a, a very exciting few minutes. Uh, the Hodari went into the thicket and we were driving along the thicket just trying to see and re-spot him again. And out of the blue, this, it looks like a little steenbok, came racing through and we saw Hodari hot on its heels going but disappearing off into the thicket. And so we've had to race around on the other side and we've managed to relocate and this is now the end result. So he's obviously quite good at what he's just done because uh, it was first go and he got the prize. So I think he's just resting a little bit now up in the shade and um, the beauty of this entire little thing that's happened here is we're the only ones with permits allowed to come in this close. So the rest of all the other vehicles need to sit far away and just watch us as a vehicle. So very privileged as me as the driver here, but all of you being able to see this, it's only us that is watching this right now live on Safari Live. What a beaut. Well done, Hodari. Good boy. He was so fast. That was absolutely incredible. Magnificent to watch. And I'm a, I'm, it's a, such a shame that we couldn't get that on film, but we struggled to even see it with our own eyes. It was so fast. Just a blur in the in the thicket, and we've we've just tried to judge where. Uh, this would have ended up and and we've got it quite right so a few firsts today the first of the first the first time I've the kill wonderful wonderful <laughs> what a day he's obviously expended quite a bit of energy hasn't started feeding yet I don't think He's, um, he's asphyxiated it, stopped it from breathing, and so it is dead. Now, Mr. Jones, you're wondering why he's not eating the kill already. Well, I think he's quite happy with where it is. So, he's, you know, I think it's a little bit like what you would feel like after a, a heavy run and then... Um, and after the run, immediately eating. It's not the nicest of... Uh, of, of um, ways to eat a meal immediately after a run so um, I think he's just catching his breath and then he'll probably start feeding so lovely little situation we have here wow I still can't believe that we just witnessed that it was absolutely mind-blowing and yeah, he's expended quite a bit because this log is quite deep. So I think this little steenbuck tried to throw him in the thickets and also uh, like the little river line. So there might have been quite a bit of slipping and falling and diving and yeah, in this brush. Now, First Lady Shah, you're wondering what kind of research is going on with this cheetah, uh, with that collar on. Well, that's a radio collar, so that will send out a signal and give the whereabouts of this cheetah. And so then the researchers can track its movements, first and foremost, and then obviously see where the territories are and who they come into contact with. And, and there'll be a lot of different um, data that will be collected but it's uh, first and foremost to track exactly where this cheetah goes and moves and uh, so then they can gather their data and uh, try to help the species in in many different ways but research uh, hits many different areas but that um, that collar is on for the best interests of the cheetah and they do hold them in high regard. So don't worry, they will monitor the, the um, tightness of it and if need be they will loosen it. You see there the other rungs that they can make it looser but it mustn't be too loose 
because then it can be a, a hamper as well. They don't want it moving around when it's at high speed or being able to get caught on any branches, etc. Because then he could hang himself. So this is well researched uh, the way that they have now uh, put these collars on these animals. So I wouldn't worry about him. Well, and it just shows, didn't stop him from making a very efficient kill. So, wow, what an exciting little scene that, unfold, that unfolded with us here. And just a good job we hung with him and we didn't go and get impatient. But um, while we sit here, we're going to come back to us again don't worry we're not going anywhere but we're going to send you on down to Tristan to uh, see another different spotted cat